24 Hour Locksman Services. Chris speaking. Could I have your name and phone number, please? Richard Walker. And Mr. Walker, could I have your telephone number, area code first, please? Nine. One. Four. Eight. Two. Phone book. One. Six. Four. So I need to just start over. I got nine one four. Sir? Hold on a second. It would be um nine. One. One four. Four. And then two. One. Six. Eight. Four. Six. Phone book. I don't know what's with the phone book thing, but I, I can't put a phone book in for the last digit of the phone. No. Sir, 914-216-846. Give me a last number, or I don't know what else to do for you, bud. Nine. Nine is the last number? Yeah. All right, so what can I do for you, then? Yes. What do you need done, sir? He's to work. Hello, hello. The keys don't work. What keys don't work? The cab. Keys to your car don't work? Yeah. All right, so you're sticking a key in the ignition. It's not turning over? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you need the ignition replaced? Is that what the problem is? Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, I mean, is this a mechanical problem or is this an ignition problem? I don't know. Okay. Well, we can come out and replace the ignition for you. I mean, I suppose, you know, if it is an ignition problem, then I would fix it. Would you like me to come replace the ignition in your vehicle, sir? Yes. Okay, I could have the make model and year of the vehicle. Blue BMW. 1968. What city are you in, sir? And you said in 1968, I don't, I can't replace anything back that far, sir. You're going to need to call either the dealership or a specialty shop. Unfortunately, we can't help you with them. What, what's your zip code first off? Nine. Zero. Come on, sir, all the ones. Nine what? Zero. Nine zero. One. Zero. One more number. Huh? 9010 is what you gave me, sir. I need five numbers for a zip code. No. It would be, um... 9010. Okay. Here in the Los Angeles area. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. We got that part worked out for you. But you have a 1968 BMW, and in the Los Angeles area, unfortunately... Um, I may be able to do it for you. What model BMW is it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Let me see. Hold on a second. Right. Yeah. Looking. Yeah, I mean, just figure it out, and I'll, and I'll be able to tell you if I can do it or not, but I have to know the make, model, near of a vehicle in order to do so. Uh, I'm looking. I don't know. Do you have your insurance paperwork? Huh? Your insurance card may have it on there. Yeah? Yeah, so look at your insurance info. But right. well, your registration would also have the make model in here. Hold on a second. Just a minute, please. Can't you remember? Why would I remember? It's your car. Huh? What are you saying? You just asked me if I re don't I remember. Why would I remember? It's not my vehicle, sir. You're asking me if I can replace the ignition in your vehicle. Yes. So you have to tell me what... Sir, 
you're going to have to go ahead and get this information gathered together and give us a call back, sir. I mean, I can't help you if you can't help me with the getting me this information. This is a, an emergency, you understand? I understand. But uh, I need you to understand that you need to know the make, model, and year of the vehicle. Why? Well, because replacing an ignition requires buying a part, which is the ignition for the vehicle that we're going to replace. Yeah. Not just any ignition is going to fit in every make, model, and year of the car. That just doesn't make any sense. Why? I don't know. Maybe you should write a letter. Isn't that what you do for a living?